All right, fam, what's up? You in there? Welcome to the caveman paradigm, okay? Uh, we're, we're named the caveman paradigm because we're a bit slow sometimes, you know? I'm the dude, that, uh, considering music, I'm the dude that just came out of the cave with a turkey leg and a woman. And I'm going to experience the world. I'm going to experience music, all of that. So um, I recently discovered a band called The Warning. I had sort of a rough go on the first one, Disciple. Um, so we're going to try another one right now. Um, what is it called? It's called Six Feet Deep. Official video came out three days ago. Let's get these headphones on and check it out, shall we? Let's do this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's follow this, caveman. Let's get this mic closer here. Six feet deep, it's looking scary. Scary movie vibes for sure. Okay, we got a monster growling. Hmm. A heat signature. Someone's not in the room. So, we know, if you listen to The Caveman, you know, I always take this to some spiritual angle, okay? And that's my vibe big time in the song. They talk about the name. Is that the name of Jesus? Is that uh, Satan's name? Uh, I haven't really gotten the context of the usage of the name, as if it's in something like that. Um, it, someone's going to say in the audience, it could be talking about anything, you know, um, anything can become a devil in your life, a monster, right? Uh, pornography, alcohol, drugs, um, uh, food, <laughs> food, food, food fucks with me hard. Um, so yeah, it could be anything T to me. I remember a, uh, I remember some Bible teacher back in the day, you know, hearing this, 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 that uh, angel, the fallen angel, Lucifer, the head of all the angels, the most beautiful of all the angels, uh, apparently was a angel of music, that he had some sort of command over music. Um, and you know what? <laughs> it's probably debatable. Anything within Christianity and uh, all of that is highly debatable, right? So let them do that. I'm not going to do that here. Uh, I don't really care. But I will say this, that, you know, in reacting to some Slipknot and some darker, darker sounding music, you really got to be careful what it is you let into your life that makes your unconscious thought kind of foot tap, right? Because it's like alcohol. They call alcohol spirits. Whoa. Think about how you get when you drink too much. You know how you get. You get a little loud. You get a little flirty. I mean, you start breaking all the sins, don't we? If you're ever going to go too crazy, it's going to be with the spirits. And I think music is also like that. Um, I Is that the, is that the uh, thing that's going on here in this video? So let's go. Six feet deep, we'll be seeing you underground. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. You see this on my hat? 
prodigal son? Is she talking about the prodigal son? I should let you know. I don't know what this means, but shoulder to shoulder across my back is tattooed prodigal son in very large. This is not a Phoenix gang. This is my daughter's name. I've been asked that before. <laughs> Who you roll with in Phoenix, boy. Um, um, so prodigal son is tattooed on my back. Prodigal son is the name of my skateboarding YouTube channel. Um, prodigal son. So prodigal son is to most people seen as a bad thing. Um, but not to me and not to the way I interpret it. So what do they say about the prodigal son? Let's see if we can hear this. I'm going to go back on this one. I know I'm going to have to. It's blue, so my uh, space bar won't work. Let's go. Okay. Listen, old man. All right, all right, dude. This hits the caveman close to home. This, I mean, okay, so, whoa, dude, whoa, hold up. Today, actually, the 4th of July, no, it was today. It was the weekend before the 4th of July last year. We just had our, our local, the area we live in, puts on a fireworks show. And it's great. We lay under them under on the grass in the in the the packing. All that falls on us. We're so close. And uh, this time last year was when I caught mono. And probably from the the play structures, those blow up play structures they put up for the little kids, I got a case of mono, and it almost killed me. I was sick for a week at home. I was hospitalized for over a week, and I almost died. Straight up, almost died. And the whole time I was there. I was confronted by demons and devils. And I even wrote a short piece of a rap song about it, which I'm going to put here because the next line, he says something about tempting. Let's go back. You've tempted me too much or I want to hear that again. dude put your ego where your mouth is and it's it's how many times have you tempted me like wow like i gotta go find this other can i do this i'm making a comeback since i was sick on life support playing that devil's bitch spinning the lies like cobwebs real thick walk in the halls of my mind like jesus don't exist you never gonna knock me off you're a fool to think that Devil better slow your roll, you have no right to do that. Consumed by the fever in the crucible. Like the phoenix, I rise with pyroclastic flows. All right, so there that is. Boy, that, that hits home because when I was in that hospital, right before I came out, I was, uh, I was off. I quit skateboarding for four months after that. I was really jacked up. Um, I wasn't myself for a long time. And as uh, soon as I started getting up and going again, I decided to kind of write this song. And I'm not a rapper. I'm a kid. I'm an old guy who's trying to inspire his kids to do something different, be creative. You know, they're homeschoolers. They, they do a lot of art. And I thought, well, why don't I? They don't do anything unless I do it first. So, you know, I started doing a rap. My son did a rap. We did a rap together. And we're not rappers. So we're not rappers. We're just people who aren't afraid to just put it out there. Um, so man, the, the prodigal son line, the hat, the YouTube channel, that the tattoo across my back, that's that song. Like that's wow. Like, am I supposed to be scared? Not supposed to be, you can't be scared. So briefly, let me tell you what happened when I was in the hospital, I'm on these painkillers and these drugs and i went two days on 100 oxygen like total life support like i wasn't i wasn't gonna make it they were like preparing my wife and everything and um my wife had sort of a miracle she uh had met some older people inside uh the hospital and one was a rodeo cowboy who was a little younger and then an older lady and they asked her if they could pray with her and 
she would say she's a Christian now, but she wasn't really that active when I met her, and I was more so from the Christian background. And uh, she, I had plenty of moments in my life where I've seen examples of God, heavy duty on my life, so big so that it could never change my opinion, like unbreakable as far as, as how I feel about it. Um, but these people asked to pray with her, and, and I believe that I was captured at the time because out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. And at that time, the abundance of my heart was not the word of God. And I feel like that's where I got caught. Um, you need to keep that in the forefront, you know, so that your subconscious can just let out words of faith. And, and it wasn't doing that. She had this prayer with these people. And I believe it, it, it got through to me, man. It got through to me. And all of a sudden, I was like, we're going to show him a miracle. And I started quote, quoting scriptures like, himself bore my sicknesses and carried my disease. And by his stripes, I'm healed. And, you know, the word, I'm standing on the word, you know, making all these promises and all this stuff. And I got better fast, so fast that the doctor at the end told us that I'm not a believer, but this could be nothing else other than a God thing. Because people's numbers don't, yeah, I guess they check your numbers or something. She goes, people's numbers don't turn on a dime that fast. I mean, I was up doing laps in the hospital like the next day or two days later or something like that. I, you know, definitely tired. I mean, I, draw, I, looked, I looked terrible. But anyway, when I was in there, the uh, hallucinations and the nightmares I was having fully were all the devil. And the devil had convinced me that I had made a post at the beginning of the internet to somebody that worked at Jay's board shop on some ad of some major shoe brand company. And, and I vaguely remember it in real life. I vaguely remember it in real life. I remember being concerned about this thing that I did years ago, you know, 20, 25, 30 years ago, 30 years ago, probably in real life. I made a post that pissed some people off that made me feel uncomfortable about it. This shit got brought up to me. And this was the reason that I had to pay a sort of tithe to the devil, I guess. Uh, long story short, he wanted me to do um, humiliating, hum humiliating things to myself and post them on the internet, which is something I would never, ever do. Um, he was talking about um, organ harvesting, my organs, giving my organs to other people, and that's what these doctors were going to do. And in my dream, um, I said no. In the hallucinations, I said no. And he showed me this conveyor belt in this meat locker where these greasy skateboarders were running this, you know, 24 inch saber saw blade. And the people who said no were going strapped on a box, you know, like bent over like this. And this blade would hit you right here, right past your head on your back and would just cut through your spine. And uh, I said, bring it, go, you know, go. I'm not doing what you want me to do. I'm not agreeing to it. And, you know, apparently there was this time frame I had to come back to the earth, to, to real life reality and follow through with what he wanted me to do. And I said, no, 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 no. So more fucked with in your head than you can imagine. Like I wanted my wife to bring a piece down there so I could break out. Like I was upset with her that she wouldn't do it. Um, the most gnarly thing in my life. Um, but anyway, I took the blade, I took the pain and it was over fast. I didn't die. I didn't die. I was there. And then, you know, my wife had this experience with these old people who prayed. And I'll tell you what, heavy, heavy. So the lyrics in this song are, 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 are hitting on me, hitting on me. Let's get back into this reaction. 
Let's see where this goes. My goodness, dude, this is heavy. You said they would do some deep songs, man. And, and here's the thing. A lot of people don't like what I have to say. But a lot of people do because you're telling me in the comments, you okay, man, don't worry about talking less. Dude, we like it. Some of us like it. So some of you hate it. Okay. Hate it. But some of you don't. So just remember that. This is a reaction video on YouTube. You meaning me. This is my channel on YouTube. This is my corner of the internet, and it's called Caveman Paradigm. So let's do this. Say? Whoa, 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 hold up. What did that say? What does that say? God, I should know this, right? What does this say, dude? I can't see that. It's not my glasses. I can't read that. Wave? No. <sighs> Seeing you underground. Okay, so meet your maker and bow down. I want to see the words to this. You know what? I'm going to do. I love this song. So I'm going to do something I'm probably not supposed to do, but it's the caveman paradigm. I'm going to break the rules. I'm going to put on this closed captioning because I want to see the words and I'm going to start over. Dude, dude, let me just say, this is where music gets to the core of somebody. And it's doing that to me right now, like in a heavy, heavy uh, sense of everything. I need to get into this deeper. Okay, so let's go. Okay, I was right by the spooky music. Six feet deep. These girls, these girls are rad, dude, like. What if I'm selfish? Everyone else is. You're not a part of the pop for telling yourself this. But it's expected, cause you're always coming back. Over and over again, lost your head. Are you pretending? Digging your grave, is that what you were intending? We fall in traction, yeah, you always come back. Over and over so, so what is this, this is talking about like what sin you always come back over and over again. Like, like I have said on this channel before I struggle with wanting to gratify myself, you know, um, to a normal person. That's no big deal to a person that was raised up kind of strict about Christianity. That's, that's terribly hard to do. I mean, I was very convinced. <laughs> I was very convinced on Facebook in 2011 that the world was going to end. We were going to see Jesus riding back in the cloud. I was brainwashed, right? I was brainwashed. Or it's true. Or it's true, right? And it can be true. I mean, depends. I mean, is reality a, a matrix? I think it's a, I think it's a, I don't know. Let's say matrix, but to me, it's a dream. So all things are possible to hear the belief. And the gosh darn Bible says it. So I believe it's possible, but I really believe back then it was, you know, I had, I had food buried, water buried. I had directions to the people that would be left behind to help them. I went, I went a little crazy. I, I made amends with everybody on the internet, obviously, except for those people 
uh, that I made the post about um, with Jay's board shop. <laughs> That's nuts. But, uh, you know, it never happened. None of it ever happened. But, you know, I was real committed to it when I was like, you know, in a hole eight feet deep trying to bury four 55-gallon drums, you know. Um, I ain't going to say what was in those drums. But anyway, look, so so even at that time, expecting the end of the world to come, the longest stretch in my life that I was ever able to go without <laughs> something like that was like 30 days, dude. Like, like I don't even think I made 30 days. I might have made like almost 30 days. That was it, you know? And and I've talked to other, you know, believers, dudes my age that I know that kind of way, right? Like that I know and I, I'm an open book. I share everything with you guys. Everything. I don't I don't care. And uh even other believers think I'm nuts to even try to think that I could do something like that or should do something like that. Like it's not even healthy, bro. But to me it doesn't feel right. There there's a there's a part of me inside that says, stop, you know, be different, you know, be different, like raise the bar. So, um, yeah, man. Anyway, anyway, so that's what they're talking about to me in this song fully. I, and I, and I know these girls, okay. The, the mic is making a buzz. So doesn't want my hands on it. Not sure about that. Um, Anyway, uh, I know these girls come from a Catholic family and they're very active um, in, in the Catholic Church. So let's go. Uh, yeah, what you gonna say? What, you gonna say what a fantastic song. You know, and, and, and the devil's job He's come to kill, steal, and destroy. So I'll see you underground. I'll be seeing you underground. Okay. <laughs> Back when I was underground burying shit, right? For, for the left behind. Wow. So that that um, heat signature body is is her because I saw I saw it grab something and then she grabbed the mic stand so that must be her. Um, wow, in interesting way to do that. Very powerful. Wow. Hold up. They fucking rock, dude. Like, wow. That song is freaking fantastic. High level. That's not just one I like and I'll listen to. That's one of my favorites. Like, that, 
that's the upper echelon of music for me right there. That was incredible. Um, I am nowhere even close to done listening to this song for today. I'm going to react to one. Right now, it's going to be hellacious to edit this video and to try to make something that you guys like. So let me know at the end if you like it. Let me know if you hate it. Um, and if you're just indifferent about it, just put a period. Just make a period. The algorithm will like that for me. Um, but man, I thought I thought that was intense. Why is there so much video left here? Let's, dude, am I missing something? Come on, 321, there's more song left, dude. What am I thinking? Oh, they're gonna uncover it now. Oh! Six feet deep, keep me fed the warning. I heard my name is kid I heard that at the end I don't know the way that the way that ended out there so anyway guys um incredible warning warning you guys kicked butt on that one man boom peace out uh happy fourth to everybody out there in the world be safe enjoy your weekend get some sun have some fun but not too much fun not too much because you don't want to go six feet down mm, later all right